Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be frying up some drumsticks in a cast iron skillet. For this recipe, you're gonna need some drumsticks or you can really use any bone-in chicken you want. Some salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, seasoning salt, paprika, flour, cornstarch, some buttermilk, three eggs, a little bit of hot sauce of choice, and then you're gonna need some vegetable or canola oil to fry it in. So I started this last night with the chicken. I seasoned it, poured some buttermilk on it, and let that sit overnight. And then about 30 minutes before starting to cook, I went ahead and drained all the buttermilk out of it. So we'll go ahead and take our chicken and put it in some Tupperware. You wanna season in a little bit of salt and pepper. And then you'll take your buttermilk and you can add about two and a half cups. And you'll let this soak overnight and you'll flip it once in the morning before you cook and let it soak for a little bit longer. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix up our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients so that we can dredge the chicken through it and get frying. We're gonna start with three cups of flour. Next you wanna add half a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. So you'll wanna mix this all together. For the wet ingredients, you will do a half teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of buttermilk, and three eggs and beat that together. And add a teaspoon of hot sauce. So now you'll take your chicken and put it in the flour. And then go to the wet mix here, the egg mixture. And then back to the flour. Make sure you coat it well. And then set on a baking sheet. And you'll do this for the remainder of the chicken pieces. And you'll let sit for 30 minutes to come to room temperature. Now you'll let your chicken sit for 30 minutes to come to room temperature. This helps get your coating and your breading to stick to the chicken better as well. Next, you wanna take your vegetable or canola oil. You wanna fill the pan up about a third of the way full or so. You're gonna heat this over medium high heat. And what you're trying to do is I've got a little uh, thermometer here. We're gonna try and get it up to 350 because that's really the sweet spot for frying chicken. So once you get it to 350, we'll go ahead and start frying. So medium high was a little hot to get to 350, so I dropped it down to a medium and uh, we've got it sitting around 355, 360 now. So we will go ahead and add the chicken. I think we're gonna have to do it in batches. And I'm gonna leave the thermometer in here so I can make sure we keep it around that 350 point. And you're gonna wanna cook these for about 10 to 15 minutes on each side. It's also handy to have an internal thermometer because you wanna make sure you get the chicken to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's been about 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and flip these now. And you'll cook for another eight to 10 minutes. So at this point, it's been about 15 total minutes, and you can take the chicken out and set it on a, a rack and a pan to help cool. If you want to keep it warm, you can put it in the oven. 
set the oven to 200 and put it in a pan in the oven. And that'll help uh, keep it warm while you cook the rest of your chicken. So then you'll repeat this step for the remainder of the chicken.